Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 29. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. All right, we are here around Sakuba Class D Grand Prix. This is the Sakuba circuit, and we're taking part in Class D vehicles. We're taking the Jaguar E-Type, and uh, we're looking at 45 laps. Last game was like 35, I think? This is going to take a while. All right, here we go. This is it. Race numero uno of uno. It's the only race we're doing today in today's episode. Holy crap. Okay, I was not ready for that acceleration. What the hell? This thing's impressive. I think when it gets to corners, though, it's not as impressive. Um, so I'm hoping that Forza follows the same sort of recipe that it has done. Well, it definitely did in the last game. And I'm hoping that I can just pit on lap 20, 21, 22. I need you the most. Right, so I've got the um, telemetry menu loaded up ready. So we can see accurate data. Oh, no, it doesn't save it on this one. Oh, that sucks. I think it saves it in the next game and beyond where it saves the actual page that you were on. Not bad. It's definitely very loose. I, I'm going to say that now. Fucking Raikkonen. What a fucking idiot. It's such a good line. Not bad. Oh, the slide. It's lovely. You're not even like 10% through the race yet. We're definitely going to be looking at around about 50 minutes for this entire race. Which I mean is kind of good that it's got some fairly well distanced races in this game. Especially for the lower end endurance races, it's definitely pretty good. Mm 
Not bad. To think that once we finish this, I get to play my childhood favorite racing game. The one racing game that I actually... Com what, not even completed, like, 100%ed, but, like... Did a substantial amount of the events as a child before 2010 hit. I think the only game that gets that trophy is Motorsport 3. Because I barely did like events or anything like that before like 2012, 2013 to be honest. I didn't properly play video games until I was on the Xbox One. It's not to say I didn't enjoy video games. I just didn't complete the stories or complete the campaigns. I messed about in them a lot. And the only video game before 2010 that I even properly, like, actually did. I think that trophy would have to go to, um... Forza 3. Forza Motorsport 3. This E-Type is lovely, though. Beautiful car. Oh, I've cocked it. Bollocks. I shifted down into uh, reverse by accident. Completely unintentional. It's time to work it. This is what we do. Not bad. There are very few British cars that I love. Because I've just got this hatred for British cars. I'm from the UK myself, but... I look at British cars and none of them excite me. But this is... This is an exception. This is one of the classics. And it is a beauty. It's time... Yeah. Not too bad. Got it. So uh, OBS is now not telling me how much storage space I have left on my computer. That's uh, a little bit concerning. Also, welcome new people to the stream. Hopefully you enjoy it here. Uh, we're going through the um, first of the endurance races. By the way, for anyone watching on YouTube... Feel free to uh, check the description and uh, find the Twitch link. Feel free to drop a follow. We stream this live pretty much three times a week. So if you're wanting to hop into some Forza content. Uh, we're also doing some uh, WRC 10 lately. I'm not sure by the time this video goes out that we will be doing WRC 10. But uh, I hope we are because I'm really enjoying it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I'm feeling like this could be me. I'm feeling like this could be me. I'm feeling like this could be me. I'm really excited for Subfocus's new album. Subfocus has brought out some absolute bangers the past few months. Or the past few years, actually. The past two years have been some cracking albums. You've got that one with Wilkinson. Um, and then the Reworks album, which I know were remixes, but he obviously vets all of the remixes anyways. So he goes through and checks which ones he likes before he releases them. Not bad. There we go. Coming up to 10 laps completed. So yeah, I'd be very surprised if we can even get this below 50 minutes, to be honest. I'm feeling like this could be real. Not bad. Yo, Mini! Long time no see, my guy. How you been? Hopefully you're doing good. Love your face as well. <laughs> How you doing, my man? Busy, busy, but I'm alive. That's awesome to hear, man. Awesome to hear. Now that I'm gone, I'm feeling like this could be me. Oh, this is, um, Dreams. I forgot about that. Uh, drift tap. This car's a little unstable in some of these corners, by the way. There's a little bit of uh, uncertainty when it comes to it. But yeah, for anyone who's watching on YouTube, feel free to uh, drop a follow on Twitch. Vice versa, if you're watching on Twitch, feel free to type exclamation mark YT in the Twitch chat. So that you can watch all these Forza, Forza videos go live on YouTube. You can be notified as soon as I upload. If you press the bell. Oh my god, the understeer! Ah! Now the oversteer! Bloody hell. There's only one car. <laughs> There's a very few select cars that can start out understeering and then oversteer. That's a challenge in itself to achieve. Hey, it's all good, Minnie. It's all good. You've been busy, man. No problemo. But good to see that you are doing good. Good to see that you're alive still. So we're now down to a quarter of a tank of fuel, which actually has kind of surprised me a little bit. Uh, one thing I do want to do is uh, load up thy telemetry data. 
Uh, he. So. That is awesome, man. That is awesome to hear. So I think 7,000 RPM is our limit. Or about 6,500 when we want to shift. Uh, welcome, new people. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. But yeah, you can see that um, inside rear tyre isn't actually getting enough chance to uh, cool down as we get into these corners. So obviously we can go a little more smoother to cool them down. But they're obviously beginning to overheat. I should probably take a look at friction because you can see yeah there's a substantial amount going on to those tires on the um, rears especially bye bye Integra bloody hell imagine a Integra getting overtaken by a Jag that's fairly impressive Yeah, so going a little more calmly has done the job somewhat of cooling it down. I don't know whether overheating tires wears them out quicker in this game. That is something I have not checked out yet. Um, we're looking at 33% wear on the inside tire, though. And yeah, it does seem relative to the heat of the tire and the time it's being driven depends on the tire wear because if you look at that tire on the front the temperature is much lower on average and obviously it's the lowest in terms of tire wear if we move up to the rear one where the temperature is much higher you see 91.6 it's 34 percent wear Compared to the other tyre, which is much cooler, that's looking at 33.4. So, there is definitely a correlation that we can see based off of tyre temperature that causes wear in this game. So, basically, all we got to do, check on our tyre temps, try and bring them down. But as you can see, that outside tyre, we've brought down the temperature quite a bit that we should be able to prolong the life of the tire a tiny bit more and if the heat gets too warm it starts wearing out faster by the looks of it uh, no surprisingly that didn't add more heat to the tires very strange Ding, 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 ding. Gonna have a quick drink break. So yeah, I'm, I think... Uh, I'm gonna be aiming to pit on lap 25 for a fresh set of softs. Why am I saying fresh set of softs like it's Formula 1? It's just a fresh set of goddamn tires. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, oh, the understeer. It's unreal. Unreal engine. Yeah, attempts are back to normal now. A little less uh, sliding around and we're within the green window. I think, though, there's also a correlation between uh, friction as well as to how fast the tyres wear out. So it might be worthwhile keeping an eye on. The sun is reflecting into... I don't know if you can see that on stream. The sun is reflecting into my eyes off of my PS5. Oh, I've lost it. Oh, bugger. A little bit of damage on the front bumper there. Should be fine. We've still got a substantial lead anyways. 
Got it about that. The car's been pristine for pretty much 18 laps. Oh no, all that work keeping those tires cooled down, gone in the bin, but it was kind of cool drifting a Jaguar E-Type, you've got to admit. The thing I do find very strange though, is they put a substantial amount of effort into, um, like, discoloration of the bodywork. I don't know whether that's due to the fact that we've gone off the track three or four times. I doubt it though. I genuinely think, like, they simulated some form of, like, tire dirt. But, like, I don't see it on other, other stuff. Yeah, 45 laps around this track. This is, um, this is the Class D endurance event. Because, uh, if you don't know Mini, I assume you don't. Because, uh, you haven't been here for a while. I'm doing a Forza Mega series at the moment. So, I'm playing through every single Forza game on stream. And then documenting every single event that I've done um, on my YouTube channel. So, there's obviously daily uploads going on on YouTube, which is awesome. Uh, and obviously, the, the style of these videos are like podcast inspired. Where we talk about the car, we talk about the game, talk about just anything, all sorts of stuff. So I'm trying to complete every single Forza game. We're on uh, Forza Motorsport 2 now. We've 100% in Motorsport 1. Um, and we're doing them all in level order. So this is a level 20 event. It goes all the way up to level 50. We've got... Well, we're 51% of the way through the entire game. So not too bad. But uh, we do have some ways to go. And, uh, yeah, we got to do Class C. There should be some uh, Class C, Class B, Class A, Class S, etc., etc. Different events that we can take part in. Uh, those rear tyres, though. Not liking the temperatures of those. Not liking them at all. Bum, 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 bum. By the way, Flavor D, absolutely brilliant drum and bass artist. She is insane. Not bad. 24 minutes into this race. And so far, I haven't repeated a single talking point. So, result. I'm going to now, though. Make sure to follow me on Twitch. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube. 
And if you're on uh, Twitch right now, exclamation mark YT in the chat. Feel free to drop a sub to the YouTube channel. We're uh, trying again to try and hit uh, 2,500 over on uh, YouTube. Oh, this chair is so uncomfortable. I've been sat down so much today. It's unreal. Yeah, we got a substantial amount of uh, sliding going on on that rear tire there. Hey, thank you very much, Mini. You are the man. Uh, yeah, that um, left rear is at 98 degrees Celsius, while the right rear is only at 95. It's about a two, two and a half degree difference. So you can start to see that that's taking effect on the tire wear now. Quite substantially. Uh, I want to try and av uh, avoid that as much as I can. So have a look at the um, damage. So yeah, 51% wear and it's starting to yellow, which means obviously the tire is wearing out. Uh, you got 51% there, 50% there, 41, 43. So these tires are going to start um, dropping away in performance ever so gradually. After about 50%, that's when Forza gradually drops it away before it becomes like driving on ice. <laughs> you sold me on the YouTube. Hey! Let's go. Oh, there we go. Uh, as you can see now on the actual mini damage diagram, you can see a little bit of discoloration in those rear tires, which is good. Because it means the tires are actually getting used. Like me, just needs infinity. Ma, ma, ma. Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> Me and he, why the fuck you not a sub on my YouTube channel? <laughs> That's a fair shout. <laughs> well, yeah, it's definitely a good um, if you miss the streams. Because uh, these Forza streams are the only ones that I don't actually republish on Twitch. So if you miss these live, you don't get to watch them back on Twitch. If you want to watch them back, you have to watch them on YouTube. That sort of... Um, why all my uploads are a little delayed at the moment because I have to go through and manually pick which ones I want back up and all of the Forza ones don't get put back up. You can say anything to me. <laughs> Infinity. Mini, what is the meaning of life? Oh, we're, we're not going down that rabbit hole. No. <laughs> Maybe not quite anything. <laughs> 28 minutes. Lap 25. Uh, those rear tires. I don't even know how much wear we're looking at. But, um... 55%. A freak like me just needs infinity. I think we're going to come in now, then. Pit in. So I assume fuel gets filled. Tires are swapped out. We got some fresh rubber. We can't call them fresh rubbers because that's something else. <laughs> We're now in second. What? Is that Corsa in first place? Get out of the way. Yeah, give me my first place back. So I've taken a pit stop and I'm in first, so I think we're fine. Because we're not going to need another pit stop. 
the other cars may need a form of a pit stop, but not 100% sure yet. Obviously, we won't know until that time comes when they need a pit stop. Oh, I love this song. Bubbles by Biffy Clyro. The meaning of life. Well, we are born, live, and die. There is no meaning. We are here for a prospectively short time. Every day is great until we're gone. And others carry on without us, I think. That's a fair, a fair way of putting it, actually. <laughs> Normally, that's kind of a trick question. A lot of people just are like, I don't know. And I'm one of those people, so I wouldn't have come up with an answer like that. Uh, uh, maybe I would have come up with, like, we live, we die. <laughs> like, that would have been my answer. As straightforward as that. But yeah, that's a good, that's a good answer, Mini, actually. It's a good response for that. You are creating all the bubbles at night. I'm chasing around and trying to pop them all the time. What a tune. Right, we're starting to see that rear tire heat up again. So I'm going to try and keep the temperature a little bit more down. Uh, keep that friction down. Less friction, less heat, less wear. And what is actually really good, I am seeing cars coming into the pit lane, and we have no lag. Which means, well, there's no lag when people come into the pit. That was a very common thing in Motorsport 1 whenever a other vehicle decided to pit. It would lag the entire game, so your game would run at half speed. Which, I mean, made it easier to drive. But it was also harder to drive because you were running at half speed. So your reactions were too quick for the car sometimes. It was weird. So it's really good to see that it's... Um, it runs smoothly when cars go into the pits. There's another Integra there. Not bad. Fair enough. That is a very good way of putting it, Mini. <laughs> Coming up to lap number 30. Oh, Mini. I found something amazing today. So, um, in the UK... We are a pretty boring country when it comes to our drinks. We've got the standard, like, Red Bull, Monster, Fanta, Coke. The big names. And that's about it. There's nothing fancy. There's nothing cool. If you want an iced tea, you get peach-flavored iced tea. That's about it. Uh, you want Dr. Pepper. There's, like, Dr. We're a very basic country. But one thing that I love, right... Is raspberry iced tea. Right? And we used to do it quite commonly in the UK. Lipton used to make it and it was everywhere. But I haven't found a bottle of Lipton raspberry iced tea for ages. I just see the peach one now. Until today. It, it, it wasn't Lipton though. It was the proper stuff from Arizona. Arizona iced tea. And I got a big can of raspberry flavored Arizona iced tea. And I'm so excited to have it. I'm going to have it after this race. Because uh, I don't have much drink left. This is all I have. So. But yeah, I'm a massive fan of raspberry iced tea. I used to, um, when I went to college... I used to go and I 
um, in the morning, there was a, um, like a corner shop before you got to college. And you could go in there. And they'd sell you a bottle of Lipton iced tea for 90 pence. Or you could buy two for 150. Um, and they had the raspberry tea. I'd buy two bottles every day and have two bottles of raspberry Lipton iced tea. <laughs> yes, agreed. Arizona raspberry iced tea. Absolutely amazing. But again, Arizona's a American import. So, obviously, Americans, you spend 99 cents on that kind of Arizona. I know there's a massive, like, not meme, but, like, rule that Arizona has to be sold at 99 cents. It always has been and always will be kind of thing. Um, until it's literally no longer viable for the makers to make Arizona at 99 cents anymore. Um, one kiss is all it takes. Falling in love with me, possibilities. I look like I do. Um, yeah. And this can of Arizona cost me two pound twenty-five. For context, that's a ninety-nine cent can of Arizona iced tea for about two dollars seventy-five. Maybe even getting close to three dollars for one can of Arizona, nearly three times the price, but worth every penny because I have not seen another place that sells it in ages. Last time I had an Arizona can was about three years ago, so I'm gonna enjoy it. <laughs> Thing in you, ooh, ooh. lit up heaven in me. E -e. Mm -hmm. It even shows on the can because it's a straight up American import. It's not even like imported and then re-bottled or re-canned in the UK. It is straight up just stuff taken off the shelves from America and shipped over here. And it still says 99 cents on the can. But it definitely didn't cost 99 cents. Hey, fair enough. Okay, how have you never had iced tea? You're missing out. Honestly, iced tea is the shit. Like, there is nothing better than a good bit of iced tea. Unless it's winter, in which case, yeah, maybe you could skip the iced tea. But it's nice and refreshing. Yeah, it's pretty much import taxes and in import prices. Feeling won't let me see. I think we've gone well past the point that we would have finished this race in Motorsport 1. They definitely added 10 more laps to this. 10, 15 laps. I'm not complaining though. I get to drive this Jaguar for a couple more laps. Never wanted to try it, but now I do. It's worth trying um, the Lipton Peach Tea. It's, it's quite refreshing. The only thing is... Um, the peach flavor is not for everyone. Because sometimes peach is nice. Sometimes it's meh. The raspberry one is my favorite. But again, I haven't seen Lipton raspberry iced tea for fucking years. It's like it's disappeared. Yeah, I didn't... Uh, team leader, what's up? I didn't realize that... Um, that it was uh, Independence Day for America. It was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. 4th of July, isn't it? Fair enough. Yeah, I completely forgot. 4th of July is Independence Day. It's only just clicked. Don't like peach anything, so I won't like peach tea. Yeah, that's fair enough. The raspberry one might be good, though. But again, I don't know anywhere in the UK that sells it. Everywhere where I live hasn't existed. Uh, I'm doing good, thank you. I'm doing really good. We're on lap 35 of 45. So basically, we got this one plus 10 more laps to go.
A little bit of a slide there. Oh, the tyre temps are going to be through the roof. Look at that. They went bright yellow then. They have an iced tea mix. The hell's an iced tea mix? Is that like... Like squash? Kind of like... Cordial? You mix in with the water? Or is it like genuinely like you brew it yourself kind of mix? That's interesting. Do breathe the freshest now. How do you mix with water? Well, like, a little bit like um, that Kool Aid stuff. America has some of the craziest but coolest things ever. I'd love to go to America. Go to America and just vibe. For a year. That'd be awesome. Exactly the same. Fair enough. Fair enough. I get the picture now. Kool-Aid's the only thing that I can think of that's like that though. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. Oh, we've lost the rear end of the car again. Car behind is 42 seconds behind, so they've clearly taken their pit stop now. They definitely have got, um, tire rubber dust. Look up on Amazon, add it to your wish list, send me the link. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I will do. I climbed the tallest mountain to breathe the freshest air. When the blood dries in my veins and my heart feels no more pain. Oh, Jesus Christ. This thing is loose. It's floppy like a fish. Not bad. My way to heaven's door. I know and I'm not. I'll be hoping I don't drive to a place where I will lie right before. Can I get a hoya? Yeah? Not got many more laps to go. Come on, we got this. Something happening I've never felt before. Right, let's try and push this lap. Not faster. Oh, oh, my God.
Now nah, we didn't get the time. Six more laps to go. Six more laps till we're finished with this shit. Oh my god. Fucked it again. Not too bad. My eyes are thinking and then I hope somebody cares. I don't know why, but Chasing Status is one of those bands that I absolutely love their music, but only a select percentage of them. Like, I can sit and listen to so many different Chasing Status songs, but I can't listen to all of them. If I'm listening to a playlist of Chasing Status, I'm just constantly flicking through them. Like, I don't like this one, don't like this one. Constantly. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. <laughs> Not bad. I met a strange lady. She made me nervous. She took me in and gave me breakfast. I come from a land down under. This is a bloody classic. Oh. Alright. Not bad. Charming. <laughs> oh. Four more laps to go. Yeah, I said it was going to be a push to get it below 50 minutes. I was right, as always. Look at the lines from the tire dust. It's crazy. I can imagine that's going to be an absolute... Like, if this was real life, that would be an absolute pain in the ass to clean off. Meow, 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 meow. I haven't been very busy. I've upgraded a lot on my end. Just not able to use it yet. What kind of stuff have you upgraded? Feel free to let me know. I've upgraded as well, to be honest. I've upgraded a lot of stuff. Um, you can actually, Mini, if you have a look in my about panels, there's actually a picture now of my setup with all the fancy tech that I got in my setup. Just take a look. Because there's some uh, pretty new bits of kit there. It's really useful. <laughs> Two more laps. This is the penultimate lap. This is the white flag lap. Oh, wait, no, this isn't the white flag lap. The next one is the white flag. That's only in NASCAR anyways. It's not an actual motorsport. Not that NASCAR isn't an actual motorsport. NASCAR is still a really good motorsport. A lot more entertaining than Formula 1 for me at the moment. But... Fuck! 
Fuck me! Three 40 inch monitors, a 32 inch monitor, and a 55 inch. Is that a 55 inch isn't really classed as a monitor at that point? That's like a fucking television. <laughs> New larger place and upgraded PC parts. That's awesome. So I've got myself a. Um, I've obviously got my PC with um, RTX 3060, 3600, Ryzen 5, 6 core processor. Uh, I've got an 8 terabyte hard drive. <laughs> for me, it's a monitor now. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I got an 8 terabyte hard drive for all my recordings to go to and also all of my main, like, main game library. Uh, I've got a one terabyte hard drive for all my files, documents, and stuff like that. And then I've got a one terabyte editing SSD, which has 250 gigabytes set aside for games. And then the rest of the storage, which is about 600 gigabytes, is set for editing only. Um, and then, yeah. It's a pretty nice setup. I've got my dual monitors still. I've got a brand new speaker. So it's got pretty good audio now. That was the one thing that I didn't like about this setup was the fact I didn't have a dedicated speaker. So I was always using headphones because I didn't have good audio. So now I've got a proper Sony speaker. I've got good audio. Uh, and then I've got a matrix which allows me to like pick and choose where my video goes. Which is also mega awesome uh that's it 51 18 we're gonna save that replay so we can come back to it later We've got 132 grand not even level 32 come on that's just beyond ridiculous but the jaguar is level five which is crazy Forget the rain. And I got a Supra and 50 grand extra as well. Okay, fair enough. I got extra money for free. And I just skipped the car cutscene. Cool. Cheers for that one, game. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Peace <laughs> out.